Hello everyone, welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. Today we will review National Institute of Technology, Patna. And we will discuss everything that you need to know about this institute, that is its courses, campus, fee structure, placement opportunities, rank cutoff and trust me, a lot more. And if you are wondering whether NIT Patna is a best fit for you or not, then do watch this video till the end. The National Institute of Technology, Patna, is the 18th National Institute created by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. The institute is currently ranked 56th in the engineering category by the NIRF 2023, which is actually an improved ranking. Yes, if you compare it with the last three years of NIRF, which was in 2020, it was 92. In 2021, it was 72. And in 2022, it was 63. So at this stage, you can judge the growth of this institute through its ranking as well. NIT Patna is located in Patna, Bihar. Situated on the south bank of river Ganges behind Gandhi Ghat, NIT Patna is spread over an area of 36 acres. Uh, yes, not a very big campus at all. However, the campus caters to the needs and requirements of all the students for their personal and professional growth. As the institute has a well-equipped computer center, central library, design innovation center, and several other facilities that includes lecture theaters, smart classrooms, guest house, medical centers, hostels for boys and girls. The extracurricular activities include facilities for outdoor and indoor games like open theater, badminton and squash courts, and modern gymnasium. Further, the NIT provides a platform for the students to showcase their best and latest innovation through Technocultural Fest. Corona and Milang is the annual Technocultural Fest of NIT Patna held in the month of January every year. Corona is the technical fest which attracts participants from almost all colleges of Bihar and other NITs and ITs. Whereas Milang is the cultural fest which is a platform for all forms of art and culture. It includes dance, singing, arts, filmmaking and many more events. NIT Patna offers various bachelor's, master's and doctoral programs. However, BTEC is the flagship program here which offers courses such as computer science and engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, mechanical engineering and information technology. And yes, in order to get admission in one of these BTEC courses, you need to fulfill the eligibility criteria, which is same at all the NITs. That is to qualify joint entrance exam, JE main, and pass class 12 board exam with science stream. 75% is the required percentage for general category students and 65 is the required percentage for ST, SE or PWD candidates. Further, for admission process, the students must register for JOSA counselling based on the marks secured in their J main. The selected students will get all their documents verified and pay the required fees. And yes, foreign students get admitted through DASA, that is Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR schemes. BTEC from NIT Patna is a four years program and it will cost you between 8 to 9 lakh for the entire course. Here is the consolidated revised fee plan for the upcoming session. All the NITs offer certain fee waivers to its students, like 100% tuition fee waiver for all the ST, SE, or PWD candidates, full remission of the tuition fee for all the general and OBC candidates whose family income is less than 1 lakh rupee per annum. Two-third of the remission of the tuition fee for all the general and OBC candidates whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. At the very same time, there's a long list of scholarships offered to the meritorious and economically weaker section students. You can pause the video or take a screenshot or visit to the link given in the description to get a complete and detailed information on NIT Patna scholarships. Moving on to the placements now. Let's talk about the placement statistics 2023 at NIT Patna. In 2023, the lowest package stood at 6 lakh per annum. The average package stood at 13.3 LPA and the highest package was 52 lakh per annum, which was drawn by a student of Computer Science and Engineering branch. Now, though a package of 52 lakh per annum looks like a decent figure in itself, however, if you compare this package with the last year's, which was 1.8 CR and 1.6 CR, the second highest in the year 2022, 
then we'll find a decline in 2023 highest package. If we talk about the overall placement, where there is a decline in the highest package grabbed, on the other hand, there is a rise in the average package. Like in the year 2021 and 2022, the average package consistently stood at 10 lakh per annum, whereas it has grown up to 13.3 lakh per annum in 2023. 100 plus top brands visited the campus in the first phase of 2023 placement drive, offering a total of 639 jobs. Now let's talk about the cutoff. As you all know that seats at all the NITs are reserved, 50% seats for the home state candidates and remaining 50% for the other state candidates. So let's have a look at the branch-wise cutoff for the year 2023. And yes, remember, this is the rank cutoff after sixth round of JOSA counselling. Civil engineering for this branch stopped at around 48,149 for the home state candidates. And for other states, it went around 46,518. Coming on to computer science and engineering, if you are a home state candidate, then you need to secure a rank around 17,000. And if you are an other state candidates, then you can get this branch with 13,000 rank also. For the electrical engineering branch, the rank started at 24,889 and closed at 29,854 for home state candidates. And for other states, it started at 22,074 and closed at 26,512 after the sixth round of JOSA counselling. Talking about the electronics and communication engineering, See, it is evident from the rank cutoff that the institute admits only the cream of class 12th passouts, as the opening rank stood at 9,542 and closing rank stood at 22,847 for home state candidates. Whereas for other state candidates, it started at 11,260 and stopped at 21,436. Remember students, after the sixth round of JOSA counselling, there is one more round conducted and it is conducted by the CSAP. And yes, for more information, that is the category-wise information on the rank cutoff 2023 at NIT Patna, do visit the link given in the description. So, to have an exact picture about an institute, who would be a better judge than the students themselves who have started there in that institute? So, let's see what do the students of NIT Patna have to say about this institute. Students review. The campus is small compared to the volume of students. The infrastructure needs a lot of maintenance. Although the professors are well qualified and experienced, however, teaching methods are old, which means students need to depend on their self-study. Placements are getting better each day as big brands like Amazon and Google visit the campus along with many others. The fest here provide a platform for great exposure. All right, NIT Patna is definitely not among the top NITs. However, it all depends upon the branch you are getting here. Like if you are getting computer science and engineering or mechanical engineering, then NIT Patna is certainly a better choice than most of the other tier 2 NIT and other private institutes. So the call is yours now. Now you let me know which is your favorite NIT and why. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then do press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.